So recently I drove in this car with a colleague, another firefighter, and he asked me how it's going with your solar project for the mountain hut. And I said, yeah, I'm still assembling the battery. And then he looked at me and said, wait, where did you buy it? Ikea? So yeah, that's how it feels sometimes. It's just that the manual is worse. The instructions are definitely better for Ikea stuff. But at least you have the great community right out there that can help. So welcome to a new video in this series of top balancing or passive balancing or building my battery pack for the mountain hub. In the last video I showed you how I built my battery pack and then it was the time to top balance the whole thing. But then I thought okay I'm a software engineer and usually how do software engineers work? They look it up on Google. So I googled the whole thing and found a really nice entry in the DIY solar forum and I read exactly this. So that 95% of all the cells coming out of China are produced in batches and shipped in batches. So if they are matched and equally charged, the only thing what you need to do is to put them in parallel, wait 24 hours and usually everything is fine. So passive balancing. So I thought that's a great way. I can save some time. That's perfect. I will do that. So of course, at the end, I didn't save time. So I charged the battery back and then the PMS turned off at the end because one cell went over 3.7 volts. And that's of course a problem because that's not allowed and not healthy for the cell. So at the beginning I thought, okay, it can't be my fault. Definitely not. Um, I'm pretty sure that the AliExpress seller, they sent me a bad battery or a broken battery or something like that. So I disconnected the, the cell that went over 3.7 because I thought, okay, maybe it's a 100 amp cell or amp hour cell. And they just sent me a cell with lower capacity, right? I disconnected the battery, charged it up, did a test with my tester. It took almost a day and I found out okay it's 125 amp hours everything is fine it's even advertised as 120 but I could pull 125 amp hours cell was great was perfect everything fine so I thought okay then maybe it was really my fault I was still not sure is it my fault I also asked in the forums uh, on reddit I got a lot of feedback of course that I should top balance the whole thing. So I decided, okay, now I'm smarter. I go the classic route, top balancing. Top balancing means you put everything into parallel, all the cells. You connect the charger at 3.65 volts or six volts, whatever. And you push current to the cells until there is no current flowing. Then they are really top balanced. Why is it possible and why is it not possible to passive balance the whole thing? I'm pretty sure you have seen already the charging curve of lithium iron phosphate. So this looks like that. I hope you can see that somehow. Okay, that, that's a really, that's almost the problem with the pants there. Okay, so this is, so now you can see it, I guess, right? And here we have the state of charge. And here we have the voltage and usually the curve looks something like that and then it goes up and here we are around here of course that's empty so we are at zero percent so that's usually 2.5 volts and here we are around three point somewhere here uh, it's three and maybe here it's four, something like that. So most of the time it's exactly between three and four. So around 3.27, for example, what I measured at the beginning when I thought, okay, they are always at the same voltage. The problem is if we are here at, I don't know, 10% and so on, it might be the case that one cell was somewhere here and one cell was somewhere here and they had almost the same voltage at 3.26 or 3.27 and the problem is that current can only flow between 
cells if there is a different voltage. So they can balance in theory if there is a difference in voltage. But this was not really the case, so current can't flow here. There was at the same time a huge discussion in the DEYI solar um, forum and a discussion if there can be even a current between cells flowing, if that is even possible. A lot of people said, no, that's not possible. I've seen a really nice video by Andy. You should definitely watch that. Andy from the off-grid garage. And he showed that there can be even 200 amps flowing between 280 amp cells. So that's definitely possible if you have a huge difference in voltage. And I didn't have that. I also found out, or I already saw um, when I checked the cells, that this one cell that went out um, later when charging, that there was a different cover on the terminal. So you can see that here. Um, there was a small difference. So I think they were not from the same batch. Maybe one cell was charged a bit higher and that's why they were definitely not balanced and passive balancing didn't work out at all. So my suggestion is do not try it at all. Passive balancing, just use stop balancing. That's the easiest approach. Put it in parallel, charge it up, and then we are here in this area. Because here, in this area, you can balance something because the difference in voltage is even there. Here it's not. So that's the only way top balancing on this side of the curve or bottom balancing on this side. But usually people prefer top balancing most of the time because it's just easier. You attach or connect the charger and that's it. So that's what I did at the end. Then I put everything into series again, filled my battery pack, charged it up, or was already charged because you're here definitely a 100% state of charge. So that was already done, charging, and then I did a test with my tester, pulled a bit more than 120 amp hours, so that's how they are advertised, 120 amp hours, but I pulled almost 125 amp hours, as I already did with the test with the isolated cell that I thought at the beginning was maybe broken. Of course it's not broken, everything is fine, the seller did a good job. I think I have good cells here and they all work. In the meanwhile, in this FAQ entry that was written by a very knowledgeable person in the, in the forum, um, uh, administrator already uh, crossed it out um, because it's a bit confusing this sentence and especially for beginners like me, use the first thing that you find on the internet and do it, which is always a bad idea. I should, I should have known better, especially as a software engineer. I do that very often and, and I know how it works. So to summarize, first of all, passive balancing is not really a thing. It's just complicated and usually it doesn't work. Second thing, top balancing is just very simple. So you should definitely consider that. And the third point, use the community, the great community that we have out there. People are really friendly. People reply and answer. Even one person, I think, uh, the name was Chase Brown, um, answered on YouTube uh, and apologized for another user on Reddit because the user was not really very constructive. Um, so thanks for that. Thanks to the community for all the help. And that's really amazing to have such an active and helpful community. So I hope we can all help together and sustain such a community. And if you, you the community, you have some advices, suggestions, comments, please write it down in the comment section and also consider to subscribe so that you see what I will fuck up in the future and that you can help me to fix my problems in the future. So thanks a lot and see you in the next video. I really have to consider a cool saying at the end. All the other YouTubers, they have a really cool saying at the end, um, usually a pun. So I really have to think about that. Maybe a weird Austrian pun. I will think about that, I guess.